guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snackbar here with NCAA 13, continuing on with the coaching career here of Coach Dunbar Snackbar. Got to see how things going here. Now, we still are in the first season here. I'm playing as the Army Black Knights. Just trying to see how I can build myself up. I don't know if I want to stay with Army or if I'm going to go to another school once my uh, contract runs up, but that's not for a couple years, so that's okay. Now, today we're going up against Wake Forest, who is a team that is better than me, so this is going to be a challenge but I have been able to defeat some teams early on in the season that are better than me. Um, I'm still undefeated right now, but this is only like week four or five or something like that. I don't know. I've been away from this for quite a bit, so I, I should probably go back and get caught up. But just to let you guys know, I've been out because of work. I've been able to let some of you know about it, but also my phone has broke and is dead right now, and I'm waiting for it, uh, a replacement, to come to me in the mail. It was insurance replacement too, so I had to pay... 99 bucks for a new phone. That's okay. I'll get to that a little bit later on here. Um, I'll try and get back into it here because after today, I should be back on my normal schedule, uh, which means I can go back to what I was doing before here. Had a pretty great opportunity at work being able to train some uh, new people to the position that I am in right now. Uh, met some great people, got to know them. Uh, got to work with some of my friends too. Uh, a little bit more closer than I usually do and spend some more time with them at work, which is always a great thing, but it did take me away from this uh, since my hours were a little bit earlier and I had to stay to work a little bit later. So I didn't have as much time to be able to do something like this. It was basically I'd come home, spend some time with my wife, and then just go to sleep. But anyway, hopefully things will turn around here pretty quick and I'll be able to get back to posting on a regular basis. I appreciate you guys' concern too, people wondering if I'm all right. That's usually the first one that I get. Um, trust me, if anything happened to me where I got hurt really bad or uh, worse, I'm sure you guys would hear about it. I know there's a lot of people who know me in real life who would make it known if something happened to me, but don't worry, you guys. Um, if anything, you know, if, if, if I stopped doing this or anything like that, trust me, I'd let you guys know. I wouldn't just ditch on you or anything like that, but... Anyway, you can see here as we get to the game now, I'm down 7 to nothing here. We are going with five-minute quarters. After this, I am going to go ahead and change it, though, um, because every game has had a ridiculous low-scoring uh, result here, and I don't want to necessarily have that. On the other hand, too, you know, whenever you're playing franchise or something like this, you've got your contract that you have to worry about. And with contracts, you've got, you have to score X amount of touchdowns this way. You've got to get X amount of yards, things like that. And with the shorter times, it's so much harder to get all of those. And I want to make sure that I have a good contract so that way some bigger schools may be interested in picking me up here. But the thing is, is uh, the head coach right now, he's got the best job security in the entire college football uh, system here. I think he's like at 94% or something like that. I'm still at like 60-something. So... I'm not too happy about that. Now, uh, when I tried this earlier, and by earlier I mean last year, I was doing a little coaching carousel on the side just for fun, but uh, the head coach would always stay at Army. And I never had any opportunities to really build up a team because I was still being offered a coordinator position. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Like I said, it's uh, after this season, I'll have one more with Army, and then we'll start to see what kind of happens here with the head coaches and the coordinators where they go things like that if i get offered any good positions here i think it'll be cool but anyway um a lot of you guys i shouldn't say a lot there were some of you who were not happy that i go with army and i'm not going with the option uh the thing is though is i can understand where you guys are coming from but this is a coaching carousel um i'm gonna be i don't know there's like some level of realism you know, that I kind of want to implement with this. You know, you get an offensive coordinator. They really have one style that they have mastered. Uh, for me, this is the style of, of play that I have mastered with NCAA. And this is just what I'm going to use here from every single team that I play with. So I apologize. I'm not running Army scheme. Uh, this is fictional, of course, because I am never going to be a coach for a college football team. Neither is the fictional Dunbar Snack Bar ever going to be a coach either. So I figure why not have some fun. Uh, with this too. The thing is, is whenever you're playing a video game as Army 2, you don't necessarily have all the requirements uh, you know, on the physical side of things for the military 
uh, academy. So, you know, I'll be able to recruit guys that are like 350 pounds that, you know, no military academy is going to allow somebody that size um, in because then that's going to cause some problems. But anyway, we get a field goal here as we've got about a minute left here uh, in the half. That's going to be the last thing for me here. And now we have entered into the second half now. So we are down 7-3 to three here. Got to be able to get some stuff going. I've been very impressed, though, with the Army defense just all around here, not just against Wake Forest, but um, in uh, other games as well. Being able to hold the computer to very little points, it's been tough for me to score. When you have a team like Army, who is a one-star team, you know that it's going to be very tough to move the ball down the field. Uh, thankfully, though, they've been able to stop the opposing team from getting points. So whenever I score a touchdown, which, like I said, is few and far between, uh, I'm all right. Steelman going back, throwing it deep. Lucky that one doesn't get intercepted here. I figured, you know what? I haven't gone for a long pass this entire game, nothing like that. So we'd have to go ahead and uh, just get something thrown downfield. Maple's able to get the first down here as we're starting to move the ball down the field pretty well. Uh, the thing is that Steelman has done a great job of being able to complete passes. You can see I've been throwing a lot of short passes up the middle. It's good to see that in NCAA 13, it's just as effective as NCAA 12. You can see 13 for 16, but only uh, just a little bit over 100 yards here. So, uh, gosh, dang it. Should have gotten more than three yards on that one. But uh, the completion rating, I'm liking. I wish I had just gotten some more yards here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it to my fullback here, which is one of the plays that I like to do here. Makes the catch. Falls inside the 10-yard line. So this is going to put me in a good position to be able to get a touchdown. With that touchdown, I will have a three-point lead. And we'll see if my defense is going to be able to hold them. Now, a lot of throws up the middle, like I said, you guys have been seeing. That seems to be working very well for me here in NCAA 13 is just throwing up the middle. So you should be continuing to see that. Going with the exact same play. It worked last time. Why not go with it again? That's going to give me that three-point lead that I was telling you guys about. So we're going to be looking at 10-7 to 7 now. And I apologize if uh, I'm a little rusty, you guys. Like I said, it's been a while. I'm so tired right now. I want to just go to bed. But uh, I figured I haven't done a couple videos here in a while. So I'll keep going with it. So forgive me, you guys. I would appreciate it. All right, second and eight here now for Steelman. I throw it. Get an incomplete pass totally hoping that I was gonna catch that one to get the first down here but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go with the halfback screen so as he runs off here able to get it to Maples plenty of blockers in front of him here but not able to get to the first down marker here so we're gonna be punting once again and yet again I'm able to stop them all right so this one ends up getting to the receiver here fall at about the 40 yard line here giving it to Maples who is gonna run it and pick up a few yards here as well. Picking up eight, actually. It's a lot more than just a few. That's going to set up second and two. Now, this ends up working for me as I get the first down, and we're continuing to move the ball down the field. I am trying to institute a little bit more running here in the fourth quarter to see if I can run this clock down. That is one of the advantages, though, of going with a five-minute clock is the fourth quarter, you could basically make it irrelevant if you play the game right and uh, run the clock out. But anyway, another attempt here on the halfback screen. Really doesn't get me anything at all right there. I'm surprised that that's been the case. Throwing deep, four verticals actually ends up working for me. I think that is the first instance of that working for me here in this game. Uh, so I'm kind of excited that I've got that here, but I can't rely on it as much as I did in NCAA 12. 13, I got to go with something else. It looks like the short passes up the middle is going to be what I'm going to need to rely on here to be able to get some things going. So a throw to the outside here. Wake Forest has been defending against the run pretty well. Maples is down. Looks like he's grabbing his leg here. We'll see him back here pretty soon, though. Nothing uh, to get too worried about here. But going with yet another passing play here. Oh, I did not get that off in time. Third and 16. So we're going to go with the screen once again. Brown picking it up. A lot of green in front of him, and that is going to be another touchdown that's going to make it 17-7. to So having a 10-point lead now. Uh, it's going to make it very difficult for Wake Forest to be able to come back, especially since their offense has had such a tough time against uh, my defense. So if this continues on, we've got this game in the bag that may be the final nail in the coffin, but we'll see what happens. All right, so I do get the ball back here. Uh, looks like they were able to score, so 16-14. to 14, We didn't get that extra point. 
That's tough, because I think that's the second time that we've missed an extra point this season. Oh, <laughs> making some moves. All right, so I'm really wanting to run the clock out here right now. Also try and get some runs going. Uh, Maple's picking up some yards here. Still have got the two-point lead. Maples gets the first down. I'm really paranoid right now that I said run earlier. If I did, I apologize. I'm not going to go back and redo this. I need to get to bed. This is crazy. I'm usually not this tired, too, when I do these videos, but oh, it's been crazy the last few days. Tried to work on my deck today. Didn't end up happening. Uh, I had some people over. I was barbecuing for them and just hung out, but... I was going to go out. I was going to work on my deck. So I guess I should look at it as, uh, from the standpoint, I could be a lot more tired. I'm almost done with it. I just got to apply the finish. But um, anyway, getting another touchdown here, that will seal the deal. Hopefully we get the extra point right here and make it 23 points to 14. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I don't have too much trust in my kicker. It is somebody I have to pick up here off of recruiting as another kicker. But uh, in the end, we do come away with the win. So Army continuing going strong, and my head coach is looking very, very good right now, even though it is all up to me. 23-14 to 14 here was the final score, so it looks like we did get that extra point. So thank you for watching, guys. I'm going to try to get some more videos up tomorrow. I cannot promise it. Um, I'll see what I can do. You guys are awesome, though. Thank you so much for watching and your continued support. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you guys haven't already. You guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that jazz. But, again, thank you so much, you guys. And, as always, I hope you have a good one.